Hey folks, Dave Ashenbrenner coming to you from my shop out here. It's a little warm, you're going to hear a fan in the background, I'm sorry about that. Not much we can do. Well, a couple days ago I did a little rant on how to ride the AR3, some of the things that I forget to tell customers or potential customers or riders at the demos and uh, some of the pitfalls and mistakes they make and, and things, but... Um, as soon as that video aired, I got a call from a friend of mine who uh, builds Velomobiles. And uh, he informed me, he was pretty spirited about this in the conversation, that I'm marketing to the wrong group of people, that I should be marketing to a younger, younger crowd. And I agree with that. However, you're as young as you feel. You, you are as young as you keep yourself. You are as young as you are healthy. And um, it's done a lot for me. I've ridden this for a couple years now and I've got a better core strength. I'm a, a lot lighter. I'm a lot healthier. Um, it's the shape that you're in and it's how you feel. You're breathing. I, I don't have the labored lungs. I don't have the sore legs. I've got all of the benefits that I get from riding a standard diamond frame bicycle. I love standard frame bicycles. I've been on them all my life and they really enhance your balance. You get a lot of your body gets involved with with the ride and um, I just couldn't, couldn't take that little seat anymore. Um, when you get to a certain age, maybe some people can uh, withstand it, but you get to a certain age and you don't have the collagen in your muscles and skin anymore. So um, I was taking a beating and only able to ride about eight miles at a time on my standard diamond frame. So um, my transition was to a regular recumbent and uh, that wasn't doing it for me. So I had invented the AR3 years and years ago and somewhere in the back of my head I said, hey, this is the Let's try, the, let's build one of these things. So once I built it, I could feel that same involvement where you're mixing some of your core strength in with the, with the maneuvering and riding, and you also were balancing it. So you got the benefits of balancing it. You kind of keep your equilibrium, your flow, and um, I about that time, I kind of got picked up by Gary Solomon and Larry Varney, and uh, that got me enthused about possibly making a short production run to see if anybody else would be interested in these things. And marketing them is kind of a mixed bag. I don't know, you know, who I'm marketing them to all the time. I have a lot of older people show up that I think they want their health back or they want their health and some younger people that show up that are still diamond frame bike riders so we kind of have a mixed group with that and th I think this plays a nice part in a crossover where you're at the point where you want to still maintain the balance and the prestige of being able to ride the two-wheel bikes and ride along with other two-wheel bikes, but you're not ready to jump on a two-wheel recumbent or three-wheel recumbent. The people that ride recumbents are doing it to stay fit. Uh, while going around to the different bike dealerships and talking to the owners and the salesmen there, I was told a number of things which were very enlightening to me. Uh, one of them was if they put a recumbent on their floor, it takes up a lot of space, it costs a lot of money, and they need to be able to move them. And something new that isn't proven yet, they don't want to take the chance and put it on their floor. The salesmen all tell me, man, if you made this thing with, with armrests and cup holders and phone holders and and uh, headrests and I could sell a million of them and 
th that's kind of missing the point. I'm not trying to sell a million of them. What I'm trying to do is, I'm trying to appeal to a different person who really wants to ride something that's as, as exciting or more than your standard diamond frame bike and, and aren't ready for the sedate recumbent. And what I mean by that is, um, I really like the part that they play in the uh, bicycle market. However, this is really different. And it gives you the sense of balance again, all over again. Not just leaning into the corners like you would on a low slung, flat recumbent, leaning into the corners, but a whole different sensation of leaning like a bicycle where you're falling into the corner and then you're counter steering it to keep the line that you're on and that's a totally different experience altogether and um, people have to know what they're what they want and why they want that and I think the cross the word crossover is a pretty good word for describing what the AR3 is in this sense. Now my aim here is to let everyone know that we have developed this trike and it's for sale. We have a, I think we have a really neat thing here that plays a very important part in the marketplace and I've heard dealers remark that this is a niche in a niche market. Well we're calling out to all you niche people out there that want to that want to have an experience of a bicycle and having the comfort of being able to be seated on a very comfortable seat and cheat some of the wind, but the rest is up to you. We have the AR3, it's in stock now. We have the same parts shortage issues that the rest of the recumbent and bicycle dealers are having right now, and I don't think it's going to get better for a while. So. I can promise you now we've got a few of these things ready to go out the door, but in a few months, I'm just not sure what's going to happen here. So if you are interested in an AR3, now is the time to act. Now, I really appreciate you coming by for this. We're going to actually be on the hunt for the lost recumbent for about two and a half weeks. We'll be up in Wisconsin conducting the search for the lost recumbent. And I'll make sure that when I get back, fill everybody in on our little adventure up there so wish me luck this is Dave Ashenbrenner thank you This is the holy grail.